perhaps I could just pick up on specifically on a point, uh, Secretary of State, that you were referring to, and that's the importance really uh, of the automotive sector. I think you quoted the figure of quite rightly, 8 billion uh, of exports to the US. Obviously, Honda is a, a chunk of that presently, which we will lose. Uh, and it accounts for 14% of our manufactured exports. Secretary of State, you'll appreciate that um, with the renegotiation of NAFTA and the, the emergence of the USMCA, uh, one of the big uh, renegotiations was around automotive and rules of origin. Mm. So do, you, do you imagine that part of your negotiation strategy is going to have to be conceding on rules of origin on UK manufactured vehicles, such that there will have to be a greater US content on vehicles sold in the US? Well, you're, you're absolutely right about the vital importance of the car industry to the UK economy and also in terms of our exports to the US. I think it's worth noting that whereas we export £8 billion worth of cars to the US, we export £12 billion worth to Europe. So both of those markets are very, very important for the car industry. What I'm looking to do in our negotiations is remove tariffs, remove non-tariff barriers, and also get, as you pointed out, the most advantageous rules of origin from a UK position. Uh, in terms of where we are in our negotiation, uh, we've been through uh, all of the key areas now. We're now in a position of laying text and negotiating text with the US. More detailed discussions around market access, rules of origin are yet to come, but I can assure you that I will be fighting to make sure that we get the best possible rules of origin for the UK car industry. But Secretary of State, just to follow up on that, would you accept that the current tariff levels are actually extremely low for UK as part of EU exports into the, U to the US? How are you going to improve on those? Well, they're low. They're low for passenger cars, but they are higher uh, for things like trucks, for example. And, but we don't uh, really make other... many trucks other vehicles, but there are also a number but, but, of non-tariff. But, but, but we sell cars, Secretary of State. We don't actually manufacture heavy trucks in the UK. But there's always a chicken and egg question, don't we? We might not manufacture something because the barriers are too high in some cases. So in my view, eliminating the barriers on cars and trying to reduce the barriers across the board is beneficial to the UK industry, as well as seeking to remove those non-tariff barriers and make the entire process easier. Do, do, you, do you accept though that the, the great fear for the automotive industry in this, in this country, which has enjoyed a fantastic renaissance the last 10 years, that uh, any deal that is negotiated with the US, uh, you are gonna have to concede UK manufacturing to US soil? I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I completely okay. don't agree with that. I mean, the. The position between the US and the UK is we're roughly in balance in terms of our trading relationship, unlike the situation between the US and the EU. And I certainly want to see more cars uh, made here in the UK, and I'll be looking for terms in those detailed negotiations with the US that allow that to happen. We've had a number of pieces of good news about the UK our car industry recently, namely Nissan in the Northeast, and of course, making sure we continue to get investment into the industry, making sure we're trading on the best possible terms is an absolute priority. And what we have as part of our business engagement is we have a group of ETAGs, uh, which are engaged on specific industries, and we have an automotive ETAG where figures from industry communicate directly with our negotiators to make sure at every stage in the negotiations, we are taking account of what British industry wants in those deals. Because the only reason we're negotiating rules of origin and automotive rules is because we want the British car industry to do better in terms of exports to the US.